beginning and the end You reign in majesty I'll make room for two You and I, Jesus You are all the mighty You are all the mighty I'll put you in front, in front of my melodies. You are the mighty. You are the mighty. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all the mighty. You are. I'll make room for two. It is you and I, Jesus. You and I. You are all the matter. You are all the matter. I will make room for two. Just you and I, Jesus. You and I. You are all the matter. You are all the matter. I will put you in front. In front of my melody, you are all, you are all the matter. I will put you in front of my melody. You are all, you are all the matter. I will make room for two. Matter, I will make room for two. You and I, Jesus, you are all. You are the matter. Oh, 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 you are all the matter. Oh, 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 you are all the matter. Oh, oh, oh. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verses 17. You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm, hold your position, and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf, O Judah and Jerusalem. Don't be afraid and don't be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them and the Lord will be with you. Joshua 1 and verses 6. Be of good courage, be of good cheer. Be strong in the Lord because he is with you. You are going to walk through this. What a beautiful week that we have had. And we bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody, if you can give the Lord a mighty hand clap above your head, just do it with us and do it with me as we glorify the Lord for everything that he has taken us through this week. It has been a beautiful week of study. Thank you so much. God, this is your hand clap as we are exalting you. Thank you so much for the study. Thank you for the wisdom. Thank you for the knowledge thank you for the revelation thank you for pastor wilson thank you for the congregation may the lord richly bless you in the name of jesus we do not take it for granted that every time we come here you have switched on your data you have switched on your phone you are using your tv you are using anything that you can your computer in your office you're setting off time from work you are setting off time from your chores you're setting off time from your responsibilities so that you can sit here and be with us and follow us thank you so much for being our encouragement may the lord richly bless you and i give thanks to God for the testimonies that we have had. Oh, it has been a powerful week. It has been a powerful month and we are still moving forward in the mighty name of Jesus. We are keeping this fire burning together and the Lord shall surely take us to different realms out of the studies, out of the prayers, out of everything that we do. Thank you so, so very much. Keep sending in your testimonies. Let us get to know what the Lord is doing. Let us get to know what the Lord is doing in your life, in your household, at your workplace, in your breakthroughs that you have been needing 
standing in hospitals everywhere that you go and everything that you do uh, we shall get the, that will be our encouragement and remember the bible says that we overcame him by the power of testimony and the, by the blood of jesus so your testimony is strength to somebody who is still weak your testimony is strength to somebody who needs a breakthrough it is a very big 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 impact when you give your testimony the lord shall surely bless you in the mighty name of jesus today we are excited to be here this is saturday and we are winding up our week in power i can't wait for sunday i can't wait for what uh we are going to hear from the lord on Sunday. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you and also appreciate people who have always stood with us in every sort of way for through finances, feeding the hungry, uh, people who have said that I'm going to send money to help this minister. May the Lord richly bless you people who have contributed to the Pavers Project. All oh, that has been a very big testimony at the worship house for the treasury team, for our pastors, for administration, and all the ministers, and even the church at large, even to you who has been standing with us. We still have a deck that we need to cover, so when we call upon you, please, I request that you abide by the call, and as you're led by the Holy Spirit, you're given something that can help us cover the debt, and then also our tithers. May the Lord richly bless you. Thank you so much for obeying his voice. Thank you so much for doing this together. Thank you so much, people who send in your offerings and to everyone who sends in a special seed. May the Lord richly look out for you. And before you even do anything else, let us uh, let me declare a prayer over you for the people that have been special before the eyes of God, who have said that, yes, the Lord, down is going on but this is also important his work needs to move we need to stay on internet you need to stay on tv you need to feed people you need to build the church of god that is why we're declaring this prayer in the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord look out for you and may he look after you may he go before you just like he did before cyrus may the lord god follow after you with his goodness and mercy may the lord god expand your territories May he raise you from the mali clay and set your feet upon the rock. May the Lord fight you of the battles on your behalf. Just like we have read in 2 Chronicles in the mighty name of Jesus chapter 20. Oh, you don't need to fight in this battle. Just like we have started in this week. I declare that the Lord shall arise for you. I declare that he will stand in the gap for you. May he work it out for you in the name of Jesus. You don't need to fight in this battle. You don't need to take any part in that battle the lord is covering it in the mighty name of jesus thank you so very much and as we continue keep standing with us and supporting us to our top fans our valued commenters may the lord richly bless you share and host the watch parties and the lord shall surely bless you then your notifications if you don't get notifications you can just go to the right hand side of your screen you will find three dots click and then you'll get the notifications uh, so that you can start following and getting to know that we are now live. The Lord surely bless you. Let us get to hear from Pastor Wilson as we are winding up this week in the name of Jesus. Pastor. Amen. The Lord is good. We've been in the book of Joshua. Be strong and be courageous. And we said on Thursday that we lay our future in thy hands. First of all, we want to send our prayers to Jeno Kasirie Gwanga's home, I mean family, uh, to, um, I don't know how Uganda is going to be, like you saw my post, without Jeno in this country. I think everyone loves Jeno Kasirie, everyone. Uh, so on Sunday, I think uh, tomorrow, we'll get, um, we'll give him at least uh, some, a minute or two of silence on uh, on all our platforms tomorrow. I happened to go to the hospital when he was in ICU at Nakasero and uh, he could not uh, he, by the time I reached the doctors were working on him and they couldn't uh, let me see him but uh, uh, that was about two weeks back so I'm so sorry for the loss um yeah, too sad, but our prayers are with the family and uh, all of you Ugandans, especially to the Genos. Uh, it was tough seeing Genos cry. You know, the Genos of this country were all at the hospital and they were crying. Aki was telling me they were all in pieces. So, so sorry. We don't know how Uganda is going to be without Geno, but that's life. Life sometimes doesn't give you what you want. But you have to be courageous and keep going on. And then to the president of Burundi, 
uh, His Excellency, now the late Kroziza. For me, he was, first of all, sorry to all our Burundian friends. I know most of you from Burundi, our friends that, that watch us from Burundi. I've been to Burundi once. I've been to Burundi once. Actually, we had taken food for an orphanage. I escorted a friend. He takes food to, to those countries. Um, he's the one that took me to South Sudan at some point to take food in a camp. So that president has been uh, publicly saying it that he's, he's a Christian. He didn't hide it. He loved Jesus. So at least we are not sure, but at least to such a person, you know that this Jesus has been loving despite his position, will receive him home. So we are so sorry for, for the loss, our dear brothers in Burundi. May the Lord comfort you. I don't know what happens to a country when a president dies. You know, we, we cover all the presidents all over the world in the blood of Jesus Christ. We continue to pray for all the news we hear that uh, wife is sick, blah, blah. We don't know what's true, what's not true. But we continue to pray for you, our Burundi family. And tomorrow in our services, we shall give another minute of silence and honor for the president of Burundi and uh, our general, General Kassidi Gwanga, one of my favorite people in this country. Also, we lost the ambassador, Mr. Anyango. He was the UN representative in Switzerland. Eh? Is that the right name? So we uh, apologize uh, if we messed up the name. But may the Lord comfort the family and those that are close to him. And we pray that if there is anyone that was going to die, may the Lord cover you in his blood, you shall not die. So sorry for the loss of Jeno, Gwanga, the loss of uh, the president of Burundi and uh, the ambassador to Switzerland. God bless you so much and God keep you. Let's pray. Lord, we pray for those families, those close relatives, everyone heart and so broken. The Bible says in Psalms 34, the Lord is so close to the broken hearted. He's so close to those whose spirit is crushed. So in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, let's clap our hands to Jesus Christ. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Don't miss our services tomorrow. We shall be live here on YouTube and on Facebook. Thank you for liking my page uh, and, um, and all our pages and my Instagram at Wilson Bukembe and uh, YouTube. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the goodness you've shown to us. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your generosity. So now lift up your hands and pray. Father, by faith we speak, that's going to be okay. What if I told you that God is going to bless you someday? God is going to heal you someday. God is going to favor you someday. I've spent this entire week hearing someone telling me, God tells someone it's going to be okay. God tells someone he's going to win. God tells someone he's not going to die. I don't know who, but I've had this since Monday morning, Saturday, I mean Sunday night. God tells someone, if you watch the one minute prayer, I feel like God is sending me as an angel to you to tell you, don't be afraid. The Lord is with you. Be courageous and be strong. If Peter walked on water, if Peter walked on water, he was courageous. The Lord said to Joshua, be courageous and be strong. If Joseph, Joseph said, the moon and the sun bow in my dreams. Look at me, everyone. For me, I don't hear the moon and the sun. Me, I hear cancer bows. I hear HIV bows. I hear demons bow. I hear uh, curses bow. I hear bad dreams bow at the name of Jesus Christ. His name is feared in hell, on earth and above the earth. There is no other name other than the name of Jesus. So in the name of Jesus we come to you. Like David said, I come to you, come to me with swords and spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. So we come to the future in the name of the Lord. Everyone that is coming to you, everything threatening your body, threatening your mind, threatening your your, 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 your heart threatening your family. We lay your future in the Lord's hands. 
the Lord is sending me to be a prophet to you. Come on, someone say it's going to be okay. The Lord is sending me to tell someone it's going to be okay. I don't actually, this Sunday preaching is easy. This weekend is easy for me. I just feel something is telling me to tell someone who Habakkuk 1 verses 5. The Bible says, Behold, I am doing something great in your days. You shall not believe it even if you are told. That for me it means you shall not believe that of breakthrough the day when you win that battle. I feel the Lord is telling me to tell someone, prepare your victory speech. Prepare your victory speech. Prepare your victory speech. Prepare your victory speech. Because David gave that speech before even he threw the first rock. He said today, everyone gathered here will know that it is not by sword. It is not by spear for the Lord to save. And he gave a speech and he said today, you come to me with swords and spears, Goliath, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. When we hear people, when we hear people die, when we hear lots of bad news, when we hear COVID 19 the future comes to us with uncertainty we feel like it is coming to us with swords and spears with disease and pain but we come to the future in the name of the lord in the name of the lord if the people who threw daniel and i mean Mr. shadrach and abednego if the people who threw them in the furnace if they died of the fire i'm sure these three hebrew boys they knew that actually they died from the heat they died from the heat in Daniel 3. I'm so sure, I'm so certain that they were so scared to the bone. If heat can kill the soldiers, how about we that are going in the middle of the furnace? But God is a miracle working God. Heat, this heat killed the soldiers, but let me teach you something. These ones that went in the furnace deep deep in the middle of the furnace the fourth man joined him joined them his name is jesus so don't worry if someone has lost it maybe it is not your portion to lose actually it is not your portion to lose the lord is your portion in the land of the living i'm here to prophesy over you that pain will disappear you shall come out of i see you the lord will bless you someone will marry you someone will love you there is a cake to cut the bible says elijah wake up elijah prayed for death the Lord gave him a cake. Elijah said, I will die. The Lord gave him sleep. May the Lord give you rest in your heart. May the Lord give you a cake. Come on. Don't die. There is a cake to cut. Don't give up. There is a, a cake to cut. Come on. Come on, people. Clap your hands to Jesus. It's going to be okay. I'm sent to you by God. Maybe I'm an angel without wings to tell someone, someday you shall build your own house. Someday you shall get that visa you are looking for. Someday someone will marry you. Someday someone will like you. Someday your pain will will go. Someday the Lord will disperse your enemies. Oh God, I remember there's a time we invited some friends from America to come and visit us. By faith we invited them uh, on, on email. And uh, we knew they were coming. But when they came it was different. We knew they were coming but we were not sure they were coming. We knew they would come out of that airport to the arrival, but I didn't know what exact time, what exact time those guys would come out. And when they came out, it looked like a dream. We said, you came, but they said, but we told you we are coming. Yes, we knew you were coming, but now you, we know. Am I preaching to somebody? There is a day you hear, Lord, you healed me. And the Lord will say, but I told you I was going to heal you. Come on, people. There is a day you, you say, Lord, thank you, you blessed me. And then you say, but I told you I was going to bless you. What did you expect? Excuse me. What did you expect? This may not sound, sound good, but the time this girl was crying, there was a girl who was crying, oh, pastor. <laughs> she was pregnant. She was about 16. And then I'm like, hey, you were having lots of fun with that boy. What did you expect? I'm preaching now. You do that, what do you expect? What were you expecting? <laughs> when you pray and fast and you get good results and then you are stroked. What do you expect when you come on people? When you lift up your hands, you are lifting your hands to the most powerful God. He's the miracle worker. His name is Jesus. He heals cancer. He heals HIV. Come on, the fire continues. We, we, we're going to continue in the furnace, but we're going to be saved from that furnace. When you lift your hands to God, what do you expect? Expect the miracle working, powerful God, the defender of the weak. He who makes a way what seems to be no way. What do you expect? Expect when you pray. Expect the good Lord to come to your rescue. I feel like I'm anointed to tell someone be healed in Jesus' name. Be set free in Jesus' name. 
Let your enemies disperse. Let there be a testimony in your house. I bless you by force. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I call fire from heaven to burn every, 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 every demon. To burn every disease. May the Lord heal you. His name is Healer. Come on, someone. Be strong. Be courageous. You're going to do this. Come on, Joshua was courageous. When he took on the position, I pray for everyone in leadership. Be courageous. Joshua took on the position of a great man. His name is Moses. He took it on, but he was courageous. Can you talk about courage and forget Esther, who went into a competition in a foreign land. They had given her a, a, another name. Her real name is Hadassah. They gave her another name called Esther. She went and competed and actually won because of the God of Israel. Who is your God too? You are going to win that competition. You are going to win that job. I have been sent to you by the Lord to prophesy life in every dying soul. To prophesy life in every dead person passport to prophesy life in every dead future come on lift up your and say father we lay our future in thy hands tonight i speak life in your life i speak life in your life i speak a wedding ring on your finger i speak victory let there be a crown on your head isaiah says for he crowned me instead of ashes may the lord crown you in the place of ashes may the lord give you joy may the lord give you laughter may the lord give you life the bible says i shall uproot everything i did plant tonight i speak by faith May the Lord uproot disease from your body. May the Lord uproot cancer. May the Lord uproot AIDS. May the Lord uproot COVID-19 from the world. May the Lord send the wind like you sent in Genesis 8-1. May the Lord uproot your pain. May the Lord remember you. May you be given that visa. May you be promoted. May the Lord God give you wisdom to run and strength. To run that family. It's going to be okay. You are going to do this, Joshua. You are going to do this, sir. If Deborah could lead me in the judges chapter 4 Deborah a woman led a name of Baraka over 10,000 men a woman led them and led them to victory may the Lord God give every woman that is watching me now anointing to lead anointing to win in the name of Jesus sir. everyone attacking your marriage everyone attacking the church everyone attacking the future everyone attacking the church may the power of god may the blessing of god may the anointing of god may the anointing of god may the favor of god may the lord fight for you may the lord fight for you exodus 14 14 i shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace we intercede for you we intercede for you paul said we never stopped to pray for you ever since we heard about your situation come on i pray for you who is sick be healed and go back to work i pray for you who is worried be given faith i pray for you who is worried may the lord god give you faith in the name of in the place of fear luke chapter 18 and verse says one the sons of men ought to pray and not to faint tonight i pray that the lord god shall disperse your enemies they'll come to you in one way and the lord will disperse them in seven ways i pray for wisdom i pray that your enemies will scatter i pray we discovered last sunday his name is scatterer his name is my warrior the defender of the weak the father to the fatherless i command you devil back up and leave back up and leave that house you have done enough damage i command you in the name of jesus luke chapter 10 and verses 19 i've given you authority to step on the devil to step on snakes and they shall not harm you every time you hear to step on serpent it means step on sickness it means step on alcoholism step on the disease step on confusion step on every curse break every chain your name is chain breaker you are the author of the good days my bible says and the lepers moved by faith they said if, if we stay we die if we move we die but they reached her when the lord had caused them to sound like an army a big army and the Syrians took off and they left the gold and they left silver and they left food Bible says for they were scared for their life may the Lord join you who is weak may the Lord scatter your enemies may the Syrian army hear you as a great army attacking them you are not the loser you are not the loser you might be as weak as the lepers but when the Lord God joins the weak trust me the weak will become strong I testify of that I testify of that when you meet my enemy 
enemies, they will tell you how not wise I am, how not, not strong I am, how weak I am, how not smart I am. They will say, look at the decisions he's making. When you meet my enemy, my enemy will tell you that I'm not the right person to be your pastor or to be that in that place. The people will bring reasons and they are genuine and some of them are true. But God of the weak, God who helps the weak, oh God loves to work with students than working with professors because professors think they know everything but when you're a student you say I don't know teach me Lord Holy Spirit other name is teacher let him teach you what to do Luke chapter the Bible says in the book of Luke I think 12 of 12 I'm not certain he says when you open your mouth I'll tell you what to, to say. Bible says in the book of Acts, don't leave the upper room. The Holy Spirit will come. He will guide you. He will guide you. He will help you. He will remind you. He will convince you. He will convict you of my laws and rules. Oh, tonight that's why Paul said, I will continue to boost in my weaknesses for when I am weak, then I am strong. I will continue to boost in the things I don't do well because I'm a student. I'm a sinner that needs a savior. Without me, you can do nothing thing says the book of John chapter 15 and verses 5 you are the branches and I'm the tree even if, if if the branch says I can't do without you you can do nothing that's what Jesus said that we are just branches I in my village or sometimes I'm walking and I see a tree maybe a mango tree that is full of there is a branch that is full of fruit so many mangoes now that that branch might think that is more powerful because the stem is carrying nothing but if you cut the stem it is nothing without Jesus we are nothing with Jesus we are everything we are winners we are conquerors we are favored we are blessed we are winners we are victorious we are not losers God has sent me to tell you you are not the loser you are the winner you are not the loser because you pray when you talk to God what do you expect expect good days Bible says and the lepers said this is a day of good news Lord I pray I have seen days of good news everyone watching me lift your hands today may the Lord start to give you days with good news in the name of Jesus May the angel of the Lord tap you on the shoulder and tell you it's going to be okay. The Lord will pay your debt. The Lord will favor you before your bosses. The Lord will promote you. The Lord will help you stay married. The Lord will lead you. May the Lord lead every leader. Or oh, anyone in any position, lift up your hands. You a mother, some people are looking at you. You a boss, some people are looking at you. You a pastor, some people are looking at you. Father God, I pray for every leader in business, in church, in family. All the pillars. Fight for them. Lead them so we lead your people to your heartbeat. I pray from the leader of the prisoners to the lead to the presidents. May the Lord protect you, keep you, and give you wisdom. Apostle Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Tonight we speak. It's going to be okay. Be strong. Be courageous. The Lord is with you. Clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus. Clap your hands to Jesus, people. Clap your hands to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As you clap, be set free from evil dreams. Be set free from all confusion. Be set free from all lies of the devil. Be set free from all attack. Be set free from every anxiety and fear. Be set free. May the Lord come with your blessing, with your gift of faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, people, I ask you to give me 10 minutes before you sign out, and then I will declare and decree the last blessing. Okay? About, I think it was yesterday, but one, I felt in my spirit so grateful to God because when they closed church of course the reasons were genuine life is better than you know we, we even in church we want our people to be alive but there was a lot of confusion 
We didn't know what to do. But I'm so grateful to God. I love you guys. Who has kept us to this day. We have been able to feed people. We've been able to stay on internet. We didn't have money. We've been able to feed people with spiritual food on different TVs. The Lord has used these young boys and girls through this tough time. But more so to you people that still sent us money. I could be embarrassed to ask for money in such a time. I know my critics would say that. But I knew that I'm, I don't use it for me, but for God's people. And I trusted that someone, someone out there will be touched to help us. And the Lord touched you. And you guys have helped us to stay on air, to feed people food, even the Pavers Project in this COVID-19 days. And to the Holy Spirit who has preached through us, who came on Grace, Damasco, and these other people that don't send the microphone. I want us to clap to God for everyone that has sent us support. This is for you. Today is Saturday. I chose to say thank you so much for all the support. May the Lord bless you. We are clapping for you. God gives you at give you at desires. God protects you for me. For all the testimonies. Listen, now that is done for the givers. Now, for all the testimonies we have seen on this altar. People have come out of ICUs. People have been healed from COVID. People have been given jobs. People have been remembered. People's debts have been paid. People, we have seen testimonies. We have seen testimonies. On different TVs, we have seen testimonies and God is favor. And now to the Holy Spirit that has given us the word of the season. Oh, he has put a word on my tongue to encourage the weak. Every week, every day. Without you, Lord, we can do nothing. When I see so many of you streaming live here on YouTube, on Facebook, God bless you all. Now I release a blessing to all of you. Everyone that is part of this all over the world. You shall not die, but live to see the good days ahead. The Lord is the author of good days. You know what? I'm going to do this finally, at last, as I sign out. Okay? Let's sit for five moments. I used, I think, three. All right. Please don't sign up. Don't sign up. I really, really need you to, to see these guys. You guys know Alex? You know Alex? So Alex, uh-huh. since we started, Chicho Weber is a Please interpret. I thank the Lord for His grace. First of all, in the COVID season, that is when I got a car. But above all, I thank opportunities for the opportunities because we don't qualify minister. at any given time. But above all, I want to have a day, I 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 have a to be with us, I have a day, I have a day, I have a day, I have a Thank you so much for standing with us. May the Lord bless you. There is a particular day that I remember. A lady sent me a message when they didn't have what to eat. I sent her 30,000 shillings. And the children were crying, saying that I have saved their lives. I was really touched by that. I even told Pastor about it. They sent just 30,000 Ugandan shillings. And they cried and they said that I had saved their life. And the children were crying. We thank the Lord for that. Every person that has stood with us. Thank you guys. And we thank Alex for also praying for Everyone people. please clap for Alex. God bless you for praying for people. Amen. 
George. You guys now you know George. I want to thank George. George is a young business boy and he's one of my best people at the Wash Pass. And uh, George, the Lord spoke to me to, to ask George. He was here. Omanye ba tumari murujia. Hey, tata times I kutuma wa neighbor. Ali murujia tata. The father asks. Eh? Our fathers used to ask. Ani ali yao. Interpret. Our oh. parents. Bazadde ba fenga ba buzanti. Ani ali wao. Ali okumpi. So can I talk to people? So, so he was here. Uh, George was here. Your parents would never ask for a neighbor's kid to go buy something at the store. Uh, they ask whoever is around the house or the compound. The same criteria God uses when he's calling you to serve. You must be there in his compound. That's why I tell ministers every day that don't forget that you were a child first before you became a pastor or a bishop or a choir leader. Some people can sting to the position. They even go to hell. Have you, never, have you not seen a pastor who, or a leader or a choir leader or a minister that is doing everything contrary to the Bible but he still has his position? Yeah, very proud. No, uh, very immoral doesn't love friends doesn't forgive but is the leader so remember you were a child first so, so do you know that some people in church if you take away their position they don't come back to that church because now the position is more important than, than being a child in the house of God if you get it please clap your hands and then I'll hear you eh? You understand? So if they say Wilson, you are no longer the senior pastor of Worship House, can I still come to Worship House? And I'm looking forward to that day. When I will hand over and go back to being a church member. I'm not stressed with internet, send us money. I'll hand over to someone. In the next 30 years. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to be senior pastor. For, I have to retire and go because all my youth, youthful days have been here so I need to retire, go have fun they sit at the beach at 70 years and watch my grandchildren play hallelujah Amen. Hey, when you guys are busy serving and I, I've been telling Raymond, Ruben, Alex eh, all of you because most of you are almost same age bracket I'm going with you you must serve Harry Pastor to wash house in different campuses <laughs> then Miriam, we are done, leave the children Amen. So you guys, I, I prophesy that Amen. over my life in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Yes, we're not gonna do it, you know. All right. So George, yari Murujia. So that's how I called you. So how? Talk to me, George. Please clap for George. He's been in charge of serving food. Yeah. Uh, pastor, chenyezo kuwa dzamka moksoka, ulo tute kaka abantu abasigadenga bakabirida. I thank the Lord for the people who have continued providing for us. Guys, and this is very, very important time. what I'm doing. Please don't sign out. Please stay with me uh, for at least 10 more minutes. Kubanga, between March and April, ngateba tukiriza kodala okutambla na inga abantu ba ino uyambi buwe mmeri. Between March and April, we were not moving, yet people really needed when, food. When we were not supposed to yes, give food, we but, to but give. yet people are calling. Thank you. So, through mobile money, I think our two we sent over 15 million to to different mobile people. Money the first yoka. week of the first, COVID. The first COVID. Between March and April. Come on, people. March and April, Abantu, to us in the kid, over 15 million. Yes, and those were over 1,500 people. Abantu, Through mobile money. mobile money. Through mobile money. Thank you, people. Thank you. Amen. That's April. March, March and April. April. Yes. When? Uh -huh. uh, then the president allowed some vehicles to be moving around. Ah, uh, nefutani kwa gabida abante mero gokutano. Physical food nunga tuba tuwari la do by do. Uh -huh. Then we started giving out physical food going do by do. O gokutano netu gabida abante families in kumi bili muchi kumi. And in just That's May. Truth. Yes, nga mazima nga. To yonge dem toto dem. Ah, si yonge dem sto dem. 2,100 families. That is in April? One May. May only. May only. Yeah. May only. We gave door-to-door -door food. Yes. 2,000 families. 
the good thing I was traveling with each and every time I was moving around with you. I don't, I don't remember going to 2000. <laughs> yes, we went to over 2100 families. Come on, baby. I could record. Hallelujah. Whoever has been sending us food now we are counting. That's about 1000 3000 3600 600 now. families. Families that is by May by by, by May. Uh-huh. Less this month. Uh, Whoever has got their money. Whoever has sent something to someone to get food. Some families, Pastor, was so in the miserable state. You find people having 11 people in the family. And you also notice that you're giving them so little. But the difference about my pastor is he was leaving a blessing behind. That one day, they will also give out food. They will also have food. To every family who has been sending us money. Every person who has been just getting hold of their money in such a time. May the Lord Amen. remember you at your point of Amen. need. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. So I come to Sizzling. You guys hear me talk about Sizzling and Miriam a lot here on uh, on 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 uh, on Chi. Uh, I always talk about Sizzling. Now, Sizzling, she's the reason everyone get ready to clap. She's the reason why you we are on NBS. Why do I say she's the reason? It was her faith. You know, you cannot have. You may have faith for something, and sometimes you don't have faith for something. You understand? Because faith, that's why Luke seventeen five says they came to Jesus and said, "Lord, increase our faith." So it means it can decrease. So I had received, um, by the way, thank God for the one minute prayer. Elijah and uh, Dr. Miriam, we need to clap to God for one minute prayer. It is the one minute prayer that some gentleman called Mr. Cosmas, uh, he's in NBS, I think, marketing. He saw it and he was so blessed. But the timing was bad because he sent me, I don't know how he got my number and said, Pastor, I, I saw the one minute prayer and I was so touched. I don't think he's even a, a, a local. And he said, I, I said, why can't we have this pastor on TV? All pastors are on TV. Now, he, he sent me a proposal and it was a lot of money by then. I told him, ah, I don't have that money. You understand? Already it is COVID. We, we, we are looking for food. We don't even know where to get internet from. Because remember, there was no savings at all because it was very abrupt. So we didn't, uh, we didn't have money. So I kept the proposal there. He, he was so kind. He gave me very good offers. He said, Pastor, other churches are paying this money, but for you, pay. but even what he called an offer was not an offer for me. It was still too high. So I kept it there. One day, Sizzling, and her, by the way, if you are pregnant, you can you can give birth to a baby and call her Sizzling because Sizzling is a good name. Yeah, Nayebu Gemi. So, Sizzling, what a name. So, I like the name. It sounds like a song, Sizzling. So, 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 listen, listen. So, Sizzling and her husband, Iga, Mr. Iga, they were going to their uh, site. So, they passed by here to say hello. Just say, hey, Pastor, we are saying hello to you. How are you? And then as they were leaving, I said, by the way, sis, there's this proposal. These guys want to put us on TV, but it's a lot of money. And she was like, what? Me did it one? NBS? Do you know NBS? Let's do this. She got so excited. She was so happy. I said, good luck. I knew she was going to fail. Where are you going to get that money? They started to talk to people. Say, there's this opportunity. She was so excited. She sent back, she came back to me and said, Please tell us what happened. So it was her faith. Clap for her. It was her faith. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I started talking to people, asking them to stand with us. What what came to your mind when we said when I told you? I was excited because being NBS currently in Uganda, NBS and NTV, they are really good. Like if you're in NBS, it's a really big opportunity. They have a very big viewership. And the churches we are locked up. 
yeah and there were a lot of churches already and <laughs> I, I i was so excited when musomba shared that we are going to be on nbs uh-huh so you went yeah so i went i started looking for money <laughs> with miriam <laughs> yeah so we started making some few calls we laid down strategies but at some point they they could not work because the more they kept on extending the lockdown you would not actually it wouldn't make sense to ask someone for money yes so that's when we had to go down on our knees i remember going in my bedroom with my husband we knelt down because we were we were they had given us a deadline for the first installment and we did not have money and i didn't know want to call musumba <laughs> that we are failing so we pray to god but i'm here to thank god yes for the provision you guys god has provided for this and i i, I also want to thank I want to thank everyone, everyone. There are people that sent us money on uh, the first month. We have done this for so far three months now. It's been three months we yes. are here. Yes. Yes, come on. And thank you, Lord. There are people that have been giving money continuously, despite the fact that the finances are affected everywhere. So I want to pray to God to bless everyone that has stood with the church during this time. May God bless you. I also want to thank Mr. Lucky Cosmas. It has been good working with you for all this time. They've been very lenient, very patient and they, they love pastor so much. <laughs> sometimes so, uh, Yes, and sometimes when we're on air, like we use almost all our time but I, I can't... Uh, fail to mention this there is a time they added us time so we we are so grateful to god for the favor for the provision i want to thank ann our church treasurer thank you so much i know you're watching thank you so much may the good lord bless you there's a, there's a time even evelyn sent us money yes eh, people have sent us money and all that's over. the time i was like now this is serious <laughs> eh? yeah people have some people in america sending us money yeah and, uh, but still but still there's a time when everyone we knew had supported but still there was nothing we could do it was still very little mm. it was still very little and uh, at some point me i didn't have faith for that me i'm i'm very i have i i, I relax you understand i said lord this is your church whatever pastor fana ajireka agena na you so i said lord uh, uh, but this girl said pastor we are going to do this then when you started talking to people this time purity uh, the grace queers yes the grace queer, christine i want christine, to thank christine yes no. uh you, you know there's a time even pisca yes sent us a lorry of food yes <laughs> a lorry of food so how it's been so far how, what's your most what are you grateful to god for i am grateful to god for the fact that during the lockdown the church away from church people have been able to see us to see that the summons in their living rooms people have been sending me photos when they are you know they are all seated in their living rooms and we are being watched and i'm so grateful for the fact that it's not only the born against that have been watched yes we have reached out yeah we've reached out to it's Muslims, been a to crusade. catholics and i'm also grateful for the time midday to one ha huh. That was really nice. So I'm really grateful to God for the opportunity. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Anyone that has sent us money to Stone Air, blessings, blessings, and blessings. Thank you. Kill up for sizzling. It is our faith. God bless you. Sometimes we, we can't even explain how it was. I remember the times like, you know, this one I sent me 100,000. I'm like, come on, you're looking for a lot of money. <laughs> and, uh, and all we had was literally a drop in a bucket but faith faith yes miriam now miriam if you don't know miriam is in charge of executing my mind at the wash house if i'm thinking i'm trying to create something she makes sure it is executed but she's also the head of the church beyond the walls we were doing it before we knew that lockdown was coming so she's the reason why social media started okay oh i started and ruben helped me but she made sure it keeps running so miriam runs the worship night uh under apostle Alfred. she is my miracle she's the reason you watch spark tv she's the reason we have when we get money for internet 
She's the one that gives us internet. She's talk to me, Mary. Please stay. You need to know and appreciate these people with me. Thank you, Pastor. Um, it's an honor. Amen. To be here and to talk to oh, Amlo. Wow. You speak louder. She's a princess. Yeah, um, I'm so honored to be a part of the ministry. My name is Miriam. Uh, it's it, what I treasure most is that I started with Pastor way yes. back. We started the, the, the Mango Tree Church yeah, it, together. Yeah, and I thank God who has kept us standing Amen. up to this time. So church outside church is a miracle really. I thank God because um, it is of, it's now that we realize that church, besides the physical church, has done a tremendous impact all over the world. Right now I hear so many people opting for church out church online than the physical church because of the situations around and to complement the church the physical church it comes it complements each other so whatever is happening the physical church has been brought to you i'm so thankful for the for the messages you preach pastor i'm amen. so thankful to god for you because people have the presence of god in their houses amen we worship with you we pray together the prayers that are being made here and the testimonies that we receive through this church outside church. I'm so thankful for that team, for that team. That She's our boss, here. by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much for every day. There is no day you missed. Thank Amen. you so much. There is no day we did. We, you said we are not. We apologize. We when, are not when, online. when Grace, we must kako anonya Miriam. <laughs> You know, so thank you so much. I told for you that. yesterday, Wash Powers has so many very good anointed short people. I'll oh. tell you the truth. <laughs> okay, they so, run thank the show. <laughs> so thank you Christ. so much, my team, for submitting the sound, the choir, Grace, the team. people on camera, the treasurers, the praying people. Thank you so much. And uh, I love you so much, Dr. Miriam. I love this girl. She's my, she's my pillar. Please clap for Miriam. She's a uh, Okay, three things. She's the lady behind the one-minute prayer. You never see her, but she's the one behind. There's a time we try to, okay, we try to pr to bring her on on air. She doesn't like that. So tell me about the one-minute prayer. She's the one that uh, yeah, uh -huh, the runs minute, to be in. Yeah, the one-minute prayer. First of all, we started with using a phone. Yeah. Pastor could come out of church and say, "Who has a phone? Who has a phone?" <laughs> so we aired, but we thank God Elijah came in place. And we were able to put on a real camera. And then the one minute prayer has really uh, gone viral. Amen. It has changed, you know, it, it has birthed the NBS opportunity. Amen. Most of you, you don't have time to, to sit for hours and pray, but for the two minutes on TBN, two minutes on your phone. I remember first time it ran on TBN, we all sounded like it was a wedding day or something. <laughs> she came running, Pastor! <laughs> so so you you we run on TBN everywhere. Every Friday, uh three minutes to eight thirty okay. PM every Friday. TBN Africa. Yes, TBN Amen. Africa. Is it making any impact there? Yeah, because we have a line yeah. where people call us. Amen. Doreen is yes. in charge of that line. Praise the Lord. She's she's also in charge of uh um okay. She's in charge of um, so many things. <laughs> Tell me one thing you are grateful to God for. Uh, Pastor, before... Spark TV, talk to me about Spark TV. TV ministry. Yes. I wanted to thank, to thank people who sponsor us to be on the TV stations. Every Saturday we on Spark TV. And uh, this has gone even to the non-believers. Evangelism has gone to the non-believers through Spark TV. That program is so watched. Uh, yeah. And then to the pastors that have offered us the opportunity to be on air, on yes. their TV yes. without us Oh, paying. yes. Clap for those guys. Thank you so Pastor much. Pastor Dr. Serada, we on Dream TV everywhere. Dream TV every Sunday, uh -huh. 6.30 to 7 p.m. For free. For free. Then we on uh, Rest TV. Rest TV, Pastor Chueves. Yeah, every 8.30 on Tuesdays up to 9 p.m. Amen. And then we are on LTV. Lighthouse Television. Uh -huh. Every Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. You see, she runs the show. She knows for us, we'll we be here. We're on here. Where? 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 And then um, I'm so grateful for even a radio station family. Yeah, Pastor family Radio. Oh, really? Yes. 
we ran there. Free for free. For free. Every Monday, 8:30 to 9 p.m. On family. Mm-hmm. God bless you, Pastor Sebiyan. Sure. I didn't know that. You busy. You busy at 7:30 a.m. every Sunday. Sunday morning, we are there. That one we pay. Yes, we pay. Okay, the Christian Amen. stations we are not paying. We are not paying. The Lord will bless them. Exactly. Amen. So, anything else you grateful to God for? Yeah, I'm so grateful to, for you. Amen. To God for you for Amen. for not for picking up this call and never getting tired of coming here to talk to us what the Lord has for us. Amen. You have really shaped us, mentored us, given us a good foundation. God bless you so and much. And to the people. And to the people, thank you for following us. You buy data. You 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 time you make alarm uh, you you time us on every TV and someone told me I have an alarm. It has to remind me. So thank you so much for being there on these TV stations. And uh, surely the Lord will not leave you alone. The Lord will take you throughout all the hard moments and you will be a victor in Jesus' name. Amen. You guys are going to pray for these people. Dama, you sign out. I'll get another day to bring Reuben and Raymond here and I'll be there to tell them time. <laughs> Uh, me personally. I think Dama, has become, Dama and Grace and Alex, they have become the most favored uh, people on social media. You people like Damasco and uh, Grace and Alex. Amen. Uh, me personally, so far, I, I'm grateful that uh, people have taken me in as their son. Yes, you are now his son, my And dear. their brothers. Like, Amen. They have they're really taken me in so close. Uh, and I'm so proud of you. You have, you have styled up, you have grown up you are making right choices i have very high hopes in you uh, what i'm very grateful for uh it is our post reach and salmon reach uh almost i go there every day and check the post reach is in 40,000 60,000 oh really 30,000 come on cl- clap your hands to god amen every day uh, and every day people are online to me to me that is uh, a, enough of proof that God is meeting those people. Cause Amen. Trust me, if if they weren't meeting God, they wouldn't be coming back. Amen. But everyday numbers keep shooting, so I'm so grateful. And we pray for them. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and I'm so grateful for the people that have been supporting me for the favors. Oh my God. Tell me, how did you take on that? Uh, I remember the first day um, when you prayed for me here. Um, normally you always keep casting the visions when we are walking in the car and around church campus so you were talking about the pavers and I wasn't really seeing it coming in this lockdown uh, but then when I went back home like I, I, I had it ring in me and then the following day we were with you and Miriam and still you talked about it in the car and then I was like why don't I take it on so I told you pastor let me let me head this project and you were like really do you know what you're putting yourself into but you were like okay then let me pray for you and uh, I, I didn't really see money coming when you talked about the figures and how much money we needed for, for every uh, 10,000 favors. <laughs> oh my goodness. Then that very day, uh, there is um, some lady, um, one of the people that took me in as son from, from Denmark. She called me and she was like, son, do you just know what you put yourself into? <laughs> do you know how much money that is? But I'm so grateful. Like People have been supporting. The, the entire project was supposed to run for over 50 million and we only have a debt of 16 million. Like, oh my goodness. That now is, you need 16 million. That is 34 million cleared. And Come on, people. Clap your hands to Jesus. In COVID-19. Yeah. And we on TV, and we on air, and we on the internet. Like Amen. Has kept Watching you do that was good. It was like seeing myself. I go to church and Dama is busy, and the workers don't run to me anymore. Where is Dama? I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm off the hook. <laughs> so it's good to see you grow. It's good to see you. Even today in the morning, I prayed for you. I can't wait for what you guys are going to be. Amen. All right. Grace, please sign out with what, what are you saying? What are you grateful to God for? She didn't talk about the winning team. Give her the microphone in a second. We have we have the winning team too. Yeah, we, we have our, our WhatsApp page. We the winning team. Up. Yeah, we named it winning team. You guys, thank you so much for supporting. We, Pastor, we, we made a schedule. People lead prayers there. People support projects like the Paver. I'm sure their package is about to reach you. And There's uh, one that reached us. Oh, mm. glory to God. So... Thank you, winning team. Those are people who will never step at church.
but they follow us all over the uh, outside Uganda. They they love us. They imitate us. They they want to be like us. Mm. They want to be mentored by you, mm. but they take so much time to know what are they doing, what they what are they up to, what is coming next. So thank you. God bless you, winning team. Grace, please sign out. Uh, you want to to yeah say in a word. You have like two minutes. Um, use one, then I use one. Miriam has spoken all well. Thank you guys for your patience. Everyone has appreciated you for everything. I am grateful to the partners. Uh, Miriam, my boss doesn't know about that, those ones yet, but we are filing it up and bring it together. Let me cut you short. By the way, we are soon starting. Uh, we shall reach out to some of you, the top fans and the favorite fans. We are trying to create a group uh, with Timothy. We'll, we'll come back. We're still creating that. See, okay. And then. Uh, people who follow us on Facebook, our YouTube family. You are so wonderful. Thank you for being patient with us when we are off. And to you people who feed families, I personally can't forget the people that have cried at this gate so many times because of just 20 to 30,000 shillings and someone is crying and they want to touch your feet and you're like, no, it is God who has done it. But God has done it because of you and through you. May the Lord reach you. I am always here to appreciate you, so I will not take a lot of time. We need to sign out. What are you most grateful to God for? Uh, the provision, because personally I also was able to get something out of that, my miracle. Most people have been wondering why I cried one time, uh, but it was because uh, just from the blue someone sent me 1.2 just because of sitting here and speaking words that I thought I was just speaking. So for the provision, over 15 million mobile money only, and then church runs by 1 million shillings per week. Uh, this church away from church but we have it every single monday or tuesday it is already done and we are sure that we shall be on up to sunday and for you people making